So here, um, because d sub m would be the essentially the amplitude of oscillation, you can say that the maximum acceleration uh, is being set to 0.2 g, and this provides the condition that the angular frequency squared times the amplitude of the oscillation d sub m equals 0.2 times the acceleration of gravity on Earth's surface. We're going to say that d sub s would be the amount uh, the spring is stretched. And therefore, we can say that in order to achieve vertical equilibrium of forces, we have the position, we have the condition due to Hooke's law, k, the spring constant, multiplied by d sub s. This must equal the weight m d. Uh, we can then write this uh, condition. We can say that the mass times the angular frequency squared times d sub s would be equal to mg. And then therefore the omega squared would be equal to the, the acceleration due to gravity divided by the amount that the spring is stretched. Plugging this into our first condition here, we find that the amount that the spring is stretched would be equal to uh, the amplitude of the uh, oscillation divided by 0.2. And so this would be equal to 10 centimeters divided by 0.2. And so the amount that the spring is stretched is going to be equal to 50 centimeters. This would be our final answer. That is the end of the solution.